He he better be joining this stream. I'd be very disappointed with him if he doesn't. Mm. Oh, when the saints... I've had that song stuck in my head for days. Oh, when the when, saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be the with the numbers. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Yeah. I'm actually going to link... um. My video in the Twitch chat. All right, let's get this movie cracking. All right, this one is Night of the Zombies from 1981. Okay. I can't see anything because the Diablo um, trailer is playing. Diablo trailer? Which Diablo? Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. Seriously, how do I go ad free? $20 a month? I can't fucking afford that. Alright, here we go. Are you wearing your Jason shirt? Yeah, in, in honor Hell of Halloween. Ah, oh, it's such a cool shirt. Yeah, it's sick. I'm so glad I sent that to you. Yeah, me too. Prism Entertainment. This looks like it was ripped from a, a VHS tape, honestly. You are now in the deep end. Oh, dude, of this is old school previews. Shockwaves. Once they were almost human. Oh, this is you mean sick. to say that what we all saw <laughs> out there is just a mirage? It was a minor underwater disturbance, with a hot sky acting on a cold current coming from a mile down below. Something unknown, something unforeseen, something unspeakable lives below, and it lives to destroy. <laughs> Oh wow. They have risen. Get a rattle line. We created the perfect soldier. Is that from cheap is that Cushing? and thugs. In a good oh number God. of pathological murderers and sadists as well. We called them the Totem Core, the Death Core. Oh. Creatures more horrible than any you can imagine. These are underwater from beyond Nazi the zombies. dead, from beneath the living, okay. from the depths of hell's ocean, everything they touch will die in the deep. Shock waves. Give me the flashlight. We'll be left with nothing but that oil lamp. You don't need it. I need all the help I can get. Okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> what is this? In a new minute. Starring the Masters of Shock, John Carradine and Peter Cushing. You are indeed very stupid. Now it is too late. Now the total horror has begun. Now Dude, this actually there is looks no sick. way out. <laughs> now the ocean becomes a graveyard. Don't kill her. Walk around. It's so easier if you walk around. <laughs> the faster you run, the quicker you die. Because <laughs> once they were almost the human. Shockwaves. The deep end of horror. Dude, that looks sick.
Uh, is that um, on YouTube? I hope it is. You'll have to add it to the list. Yeah, oh, fucking oath we will. <laughs> this movie's about Nazi zombies, by the way, so if it looks like I'm about to do a salute, please tell me to stop. Night of the Zombies 2? Why is it called Night of the Zombies 2? Dude, that's the, that's the anthem of Nazi Germany. <laughs> We were gonna be pulling this shit. Joel M. Reed, he directed the <laughs> Best boy, Tim Wallace. <laughs> I wanna be a best boy. How do I be a best boy? <laughs> I, was, I was born to be a best boy. Be sure to audio like a little um yeah, like, a like a little uh we can do a pin or we can do like a little trophy with best boy on it. <laughs> I wanna be best boy. <laughs> Why is it best boy? Why is it called best boy? Best boy. Guten Tag, mein Herrn. Guten Tag. Good afternoon. Can you tell me what you're doing in this area? It's restricted. Two hikers were murdered on this very spot last year by terrorists. I'll have to ask you to leave. We have special permission from Bond to remain here. Master Sergeant Orville Friedman, U.S. Army Graves Registration Service. Court Schuller, Wehrmacht Archive Division. Captain Flett. Have a seat. For the patrol. Graves registration. War memorials. So, you're not tourist. <laughs> tourist. I didn't realize there was another problem. Uh, we're looking for the remains of troops nah, missing in action since um, World War II. This isn't a sequel. But for some reason, it was also Krieg? called Night of the Zombies 2. One soldat in this part of Bavaria, German or American. Weird. Only a Nazi weather station. But they fled just before the occupation. I think we can prove otherwise. <laughs> A hat with best boy embroidered on. There were no battles fought here in 1944. <laughs> oh, dude, look at this. Where do you think this came from? No, don't show there were hundreds left behind after oh, the wait, war. No, I can now. Anyone could have dropped it. A soldat yeah, on the way buddy. home. We found an American machine gun yesterday. Bandits. Yeah, They've they murdered a number of people around here in Very recent well years. <laughs> the villagers insist that there was a battle fought here during the last war. They also believe in the magic eye. This very grove is supposed to be infested yeah, with the living dead. Ooh. Zombies, I believe you call them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Do you believe in zombies? Nein. Do you? Uh, neither of us do. Hey. But we do believe that uh, part of a retreating Nazi SS battalion and an American chemical warfare unit ran into one another in these hills and fought it out to the last man. They didn't fight battles out to the last man in World War II. There are no survivors registered in either of the two units. Mein Herrn, there were no battles fought here during World War II. You will find no bodies. There are only the zombie stories of poor, ignorant farmers and a few terrorists, maybe. Therefore, I suggest you confine your exploring to the daylight hours and spend your nights in town. <coughs> 
I see no reason why Shula and I should be trucking back and forth every night. I think Shula and I can handle any bandits who turn up. Why, what about the zombies, huh? <laughs> what about the zombies, <laughs> When Germans have a conversation in a movie, it's always so weird. Ooh. It's like so sinister. Oh. Yeah. Now this proves that there was a battle fought here. The record still states that there were no troops within a hundred miles of this place. Yeah. When I heard all those Is this stories, meant to, like, take place in like the early eighties or something yeah. like. It's been, what, what 40 mean years anything? since the war? <laughs> I'll bet you, Casey mm. Beer, we find a hundred more within 24 hours. A hundred more skeletons. A hundred more zombies! <laughs> Friedman. Huh? What if there were a battle fought here? And another Grace registration team had already accounted for the bodies. We keep accurate records. They wouldn't have forgotten about this place. Hmm. Dude, I would give anything to be in a movie like this. You should make one. Yeah, I might have to. About Nazi zombies. Bandits, Friedman. Ah, cool it, Shuler. Although it's, it's already been done, lightning yet going off the hill. Snow, but... That's a German machine gun. It sounds like an air compressor to me. <laughs> I know a German machine gun when I hear it. Are you talking away now, from your don't body? don't tell me you really believe quiet. a living dead bull. No. If they're out there, we gotta make sure that they're resting in peace. Well, that won't help you against zombies. <laughs> if they're out there, and not dead, they will be shortly. Uh, well, if you run into any American ghosts, tell them they got a lot of bad pay coming. <laughs> yeah. It feels weird to be watching a movie in color. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel right. I bet I tell you what the, the redeeming factor is. It's the VHS. Yeah. It's the VHS marks on the screen. Yeah, like it's it proper, proper old. Yeah. This movie would look strange if it was like pristine in, in quality, you know what I mean? Mm. Shuffling burning zombies. I'm gonna go out there and have a look. <laughs> yeah, buddy.
Yeah. The laughing in the background. Jesus Christ, okay. You can hear the wind noises, but you can't see any of the branches swaying. Mm. I love that. I warned them about bandits. Any tracks? Only this. One of these poor souls probably dropped it. I'll put it into the mail. Tripping me out that we're watching something modern as opposed to, you know, black and white. Yeah, like with what jet skis. Mm. I'm pretty sure they did have jet skis in like the 50s. I mean, not jet skis, snowmobiles. Fucking jet skis. I knew what you meant. Yeah, same concept. Is that stock footage of the Pentagon? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them pleats. I'll have you know I, I would have been the perfect zomb uh, perfect Nazi. Look, how, look at the pleats in these pants. Minimum exposure. I've heard that before. Still walking around with a couple of slugs from the last minimum exposure assignment. What is this? World War III? Would you believe World War II? You're kidding. Okay. What have we got to do with the Graves registration team killed in Bavaria? Nick, they don't matter. I want you to go down there and uncover a lead on Special Unit C, a chemical warfare outfit that they were looking for. Why? They were armed with Gamma 693, a lethal gas that the United States was going to experiment with on the Germans. <clears throat> Nick. Looks Gamma like a really young Billy Zane. Could be more mm. destructive than any bomb. I thought this was a minimum exposure assignment. There's a biochemist flying into town who can deactivate the agent for you if, if you can find it. Helpful. Excellent. I never thought I'd I also love that that Alex comes in like a full suit caper. and the guy at the table was just like being didn't exist outside the world Yeah, he's in the, a bathroom. Just chilling. <laughs> Actually, Dr. Pratt, our work isn't as glamorous as you may think. Nick. May I call you Nick? It is absolutely imperative that we retrieve that gas as soon as possible. The containers may start leaking any day now. What happens then? Well... The gas may be effective enough to kill two million people. Or, on the other hand, be perfectly harmless. I don't know what exactly. The scientist who developed it destroyed his notes and himself when he realized we were actually going to use the gas. Destroyed the notes and himself. I was his assistant back in 44. <laughs> 1944? You don't look that old. Thank you. Poison gas, huh? No wonder they gave me this assignment. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. We have developed a deactivating foam. And what if the stuff doesn't work? Well, you didn't expect to live forever, did you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. What is that it was noise? Written by a member of Special Unit C to his sister. Take a careful look at it, will you, Nick? I 
Okay, it's dated last month and written with a ballpoint pen. Collins. I know that. His sister received it last week. It was written by a man reported missing in action in 1945. The handwriting experts say it's authentic. I'm supposed to buy that. Oh, so the letter that they both dropped by one of the knee guys. Um, the next thing you're going to be telling me is that there's been an entire U.S. chemical yeah, warfare outfit hiding out up in the Alps for, what, 30 years? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they're saying. Yeah, when they were making this movie they thought they were making like the next masterpiece <laughs> god I hope not <laughs> or do you reckon they knew that they were making trash <sighs> look it's hard to say early 80s may have been a little optimistic Seriously. I can't help it. Honestly. Every time. Where's Sean? Where is Sean? I miss him. Cinema history. Yeah. They're like, look at this. This is a masterpiece about zombies that are also Nazis. Have you watched that movie that's like, um, Nazi robots or something at the center of the earth or something stupid God like save that? Talking about Iron Sky. No. Nick, what are you doing? It's actually in called town? like Starting World War Three. Nazi robots at the I'm center of the World earth or War something II. like that. It's no time for jokes, Nick. Okay. Sounds like something I would like. Looking for deserters. Yeah, I'll try and find it. Deserters from where? U.S. Army. Well, we have is some AWOLs. I'm talking about World War II. Why wouldn't you just say AWOLs, not AWOLs? Who Germans? says it like that? GIs. You must be kidding. Nick. GIs. World War II. You must be kidding. <laughs> That's from the Oriental music. <laughs> Hi, gang. Sorry, I'm late. This is a beautiful restaurant. This guy has so impeccable nonchalant. taste. You're not as crude as your first impression would lead one to believe. Why do you feel that way, Doc? Now why don't you drop dead? Me? <laughs> I just really likes fucking women, doesn't he? You know, you no. can run into a stiff why one in Bavaria. Those terrorists aren't exactly hospitable. And you're just the kind of freak they'd like to do a number on. Terrorists? Yes. You didn't tell me we'd be in any danger. <laughs> we? Susan's coming along with us. No. I can't exist without her. Now let's get on to another subject, shall we? What? It's very dangerous. Dangerous? She's going home. Doc, you don't want her up there. It. it has been cleared through channels, Nick, all the way to the top. Why? Because they always bring a dumb blonde along on missions like this. What the, what the Who fuck? Who is they? The movies. Oh my God, why is your face so big? Fix it up. What was wrong with it before? Who's your friend? I guess he's got eyes for you. Oh, excuse me, my mind must have wandered. Whew, some of the nuts you see. I know the boy. We were in the army together. You were in the army together? Yeah, World War II. World War II? 
Doc is not a day over 19. That's just what I needed, an absent-minded professor. I think he'll surprise you when things get rough. He's totally without fear. Are you his niece or are you his niece? I don't get you. I mean, are you really his niece or is that just his word for... Uh, for... Uncle Clarence has been looking after me since my father got killed. Killed? Sure. Vietnam. I'm an army brat. <laughs> Why? What did you think? My father was Uncle Clarence's younger brother. <laughs> Besides, I'm not his type. What? Quantity, not quality. How weird. The looks what a weird just, just such a weird exchange. It's like this movie was made in an alternate Very universe much, where how they make movies it is completely be different. There has to be one. So thousands of German Voivessens in the city, but a whole US battalion. How long have you been in Munich? A while. Mm. And you should know better than to uh, go looking for people the way you are. Why? Well. The, this guy just looks at people. He just like he may looks find at you them. First. That's exactly Wait, what I want to do. Wait, is that the niece that's like struggling out to me out? I have no idea, but she's like just stroking him right now. It's like cuddled up against him like a kid. I've got a feeling this music is gonna flag this video, and I real that's why I'm talking so much over this part because I don't want it to flag my video. Why would it flag it? Because of the music. Uh, it sounds like it's licensed with music. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, I know. But then, like, a movie of this caliber is not going to get, like, well known Nobbin. licensed music. Hmm. So it could be alright. Maybe that was just some random chick in the bar. Yeah, maybe. You were talking about World War II. And you just happened over here? Deserters? Americans. That was a long time ago. I didn't know anybody would still be interested. You are. Me? You followed me. I followed you. From the bar. <laughs> I followed you from the bar, but you couldn't talk there. A lot of strange characters. What couldn't we talk about? History. I don't follow. We were much better than you, Nick. It was fear who fouled things up. With the industrial might we have today, things could have been different. And it was the Jews, they the Jews. Hey, stop it with the Jews. I'm looking for American deserters from World War II. Sorry. Sorry. Boy. We have a group here in Bavaria that like to see things done in an old-fashioned manner. And there may be another group with similar interests. I'm looking for GIs. This other group may contain GIs. Give me a We would like to make contact with them, but so far they have remained, how you say, remote. And see why. Then a pooling of uh, information would be mutually beneficial. What have you got? Rumors. What have you got? Just to names. Let's see if you can nail one. Where do we find you? If you can find one of them, you can find me. They've all been missing for 30 years. <laughs> if these Nazi zombies don't eat anyone, I'm going to be pissed. Where have you been for the last three days? May I remind you that we are here in Germany on an important scientific mission? I've been putting things together. We have to leave for the mountains immediately. Yeah. Not till after I've completed my research. Research? 
There is a highly unstable corrosive chemical in a generating container somewhere out there. He's very monotone, for the Alps. Yeah. The creaking of the piece of leather. <laughs> yeah. When are we leaving for the Alps? Soon. Even soon. Stay around sometime, maybe. His glasses are crooked. My glasses are always crooked. Slept. Mm. Did the Bund meeting run over? No, I had a dream. I was in my black SS uniform, riding on a white charger with a beautiful French Jewish strapped across the saddle in blood. I have a theory. Do you believe in Did ghosts? Did he say a beautiful French Jewess? Check it. Oh my God, he got stabbed. Sheffield. Sheffield. <laughs> oh, what a death. Oh, he's still going. came out to ruin their shot, so they cut to a closer shot, and they filmed later on. Smart. I remember my days of medium class. What the hell so funny? <laughs> there seems to be a lot of random German laughing in this. What the hell just happened? Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was Nazi zombies. It's terrible though. Wow. So why was that guy laughing and why was he getting shot and still walking forwards? As the, and like he and was then, barely reacting to it. And just kept laughing. Yeah. And up at a camera. Good morning. Maybe uh, you like a camera or a film, you know, we have the best prices here in Munich. <laughs> I brought in the camera here to be repaired some time ago. You did? Brighton. Made for use in the tropics. What is his you work for the company? <laughs> I want to see the local station, boss. No, the local station is closed down. It's urgent. No, the local station is closed down. Where is he? Look, buddy. I mean, you know, like Master Chief is out of... Yeah. Um, huh? Yeah. Where? 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 Come on. Come on. Ah! All right! All right! Number seven, Liga Strasse. Strasse. Ask for the boss. Thanks. What a weird mustache choice. Yeah. Mm. I'm really not following this movie very well. 
doesn't help that the audio quality isn't great. But like, it's, it's fine. Like, I can understand what they're saying. It's just very disjointed. You're gonna die. Actually, really cool, like piece of art. Jousting. So it's kind of like you know when you like push a sharp object into a balloon and it kind of you kind of push it in first yeah. and then it pops. Yeah, it's like that. Me, the local stud. Let me in, honey. Let me in, sweet cheeks. Yeah, I can't. I yeah, can't. Can Look, it's budget Mick Jagger. Father around? My father. And is he available? No, not really. I've got ads. Oh, where is he? He's back in the States. Where in the States? He's been dead a long time. A GI? Yeah, so what? Hey, well. Hell no, I just live off base. What's up? Okay, Roman. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Strange. How long has he lived here, Sheffield? What? I still can't uh, hear what's happening. Three long hot air here, Gavon Sheffield. Uh, mm. Three years. No. I miss my time. Sorry, yes. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Is that a nightgown or a wedding dress? Is that a wedding dress? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> Music saucy. Where's the boss? Yeah. You always see the boss later. Oh, but God. in the meantime, I'll give you a nice girl. There's no harm in Oh, it's a brothel. Is it? There's a cat on the bed. Hey. It's a home brothel. <laughs> oh god, what are we watching? <laughs> this is my special girl for you. Oh, she's very nice. Sign it, Sidney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very pretty girl, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's very sweet. You really got pretty eyes. Yes, you are. And so do you just stand up? Oh, that's just mm -hmm. biblical, Sean. It's very nice. You look I'm wonderful. so confused right now. I just want to watch you undress, okay? Okay. Oh, God. I said, take it off. Come on, just. Sean, you're going to let me know okay. what the rules are on Twitch real quick. Take it off nice and slow. That's a girl. Oh, that's very pretty. I thought this movie was about Nazi zombies. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh really boy! Your English is very good. It's like the it's like the mask where he like becomes a wolf. He's like auga, yeah, humma, humma, humma. Yeah. and the tongue rolls out off the table. If we see a nipple, I think we're about to see a nipple, bro. Tell me, what do I do, quick? Nice breasts, don't you? Don't you have nice breasts? 
I feel like you need to stop pre-watching some of these movies. Never. That's very good. Oh, that's very good. Would you, uh, turn around for me now? I thought this that's was a zombie Oh, nasty, there's baby. a nipple. <laughs> Put your leg up and take your stocking off. There's two, actually. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So Hang on, watch this, watch that's this. Good. We can fix this. That's there right, we go. Honey. Don't look at me. Just don't look at me. That's right. Oh, that's so pretty, honey. I love it. Was there a guy behind the mirror? Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think so. Where was it before? Was it there? If there's a little bit of nipple action, it was just a little bit. He could have lost it. Yeah, eye. but it was still like. You. Is your job that boring? It was until you, you shot know, up. It wasn't you sexual. Know. You know I don't work that way. She was well, just turning uh, around. Was one of your guys? If it was, he wouldn't have missed. If you turn the sound well, down, it sound like a typical company <laughs> screw up. Oh, come on, Nick. It doesn't have the blatant softcore porn music on it. Who was the guy that got hit in the and kidney? And the guy in the background oh, going, oh, yeah, baby. He had me on to something. Like that. And he was like, What about hmm. the guy in the backyard? Okay. I don't know anything about that. Dash his brains out. He's probably still laying there. Well, then we ought to go take a look. Yes. I think you're allowed Don't to care. show it if the point of the video isn't to show it. It was only for a couple of seconds. What did you do to Krieg? Twisted his arm a little. Twisted his arm? The police say that someone killed him and ate him in the back of the camera store. Well. Let's go look at the other stiff. Killed him uh, and ate planning him. Planning to save him for breakfast? <laughs> I love how he didn't even react to that. He was just like, don't be ridiculous. Let's have a look at the other stiff. This is where I laid him out this afternoon. He doesn't hear now. What is that, blood? No, this isn't blood. Vegetable juice. Vegetable juice. And one of our operatives was, uh, how shall I say, devoured? Don't look at me. What does all this have to do with our assignment? Well, I've done a little reading, uh, and uh, would you gentlemen buy zombies? Zombies. Yeah, I did a term paper on them once in college. So how you got your job? Zombies do not devour human flesh. Ghouls do. And neither of them exists outside of fiction and folklore. Beg to dispute that. What? Even if they did exist, you wouldn't find one in a camera store. <laughs> ah, camera stores. <laughs> that seems like a perfectly logical hypothesis to me. Nobody else has come up with any other explanation this evening. Well, the guy who got it in the camera store was dusted off in broad daylight. Zombies, some zombies, uh, relish the sunlight. And as far as I've read, uh, they prefer heavyset folks. It has something to do with the fat content. Well, that makes it easy. All we got to do is stake out Bavarian Weight Watches. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to sit here and listen to this insipid repartee? I am a scientist. Let's get on with it, shall we? He's right. We're here to find the gas. Hmm. We're here to find the gas. Well, if you're playing a video game and you... This is a beautiful country. There's like... You'll have to tell your friends all about uh, it a bit in the of States. Nipple. In the to video encourage game. tourism, I presume. It's okay. Come see the zombies. According to the terms of service. Would you stop that insane zombie talk? <laughs> it's okay.
That's not the point Sorry. of the stream. Bandits, yeah. Like you can't zombies, play sex nine, games on the stream zombies. because that's Let's obviously the dessert. point of the game. But if it's not mm. the point of the movie, surely that would be okay because it's the same principle, you know what I mean? Mm. 10,000 calories. Oh, you must. I baked it myself. No. I think he has designs on you. Nick? Hmm. Please, I have a sweet tooth. Yeah. It's not bad, Doc. You're a man of many skills. Thank you. You've been in research since World War II? 34 years. Doctor, impossible. You don't look that old. Thank you. How do you do it? My diet. I eat anything that pleases me. May I? Mm. I wonder if he's a zombie. The scientist guy. Yeah, and that's why he can do it, because he eats brains. Delightful. <laughs> and he's into heavy sex people. For a walk. Mm. Because of the high fat content. I would not suggest a walk. The red terrorists I feel like are that's not red very polite like to women. I won't mind. He means you might be assaulted. Rape's the more common Oh, word. sorry, Benny. Right after dinner? <laughs> they couldn't be that primitive. I'll go with you. To the job. should be more alert. I'm not so sure. Well, did you see your attacker? It was dark, I'm not sure. Not sure about what? If it was human. <sighs> human? She's coming around. Did she Susan. Susan, did you see your attacker? <laughs> A zombie. Are you sure? His face was gray. Well, perhaps it was mud to take away the glare. <laughs> Just like in the war movies, eh, Doc? Why did him shooting look like Leon shooting in like, like a piece of World Resident War II fatigue Resident jacket Evil. to me? Yeah, true, it did, actually. Rotted like it's been on a dead body for 30 years. God damn it to hell, there are no such things as zombies. So, to make sure there's a stronger guard put around here. I was kind of hoping this would be like a gory bloodbath, but it hasn't. Yeah, I was really hoping for that too. It could be though, it could, we could still get there. Yeah, and it was the way he held the gun as well. He like held it like from the hip. Bang, bang, bang. Gunslinger style. Fair. Some 
grisly makeup on at least. <laughs> they added those snores in post for sure. <laughs> wow. the kid. I'm pretty sure that's the kid from the building. It wasn't a man, it was a thing. A zombie. Hang on, I'll be I don't back. I'll put his stuff in the zombie body. dribble. No, you're okay. Oh well. That's what you get for bringing a woman along. <laughs> That's what you get Nick, for bringing I a woman saw it. along. It wasn't human. Could have been bandit. It kissed me. Oof. I think you kissed by the Okay. Get some sleep, huh? I'll double up the guard. Stay here. Wasn't one zombie enough for you? That's reassuring. Rise and shine, Doc. We got work to do. What's the matter? It's just a touch of the fever. You look terrible. Want to cancel the hunt for the gas? Absolutely not. These ambitions were wonderful. <laughs> we had a good years, and then we came to Berlin, and then we had a good Dr. Proud isn't feeling well. See, he has somebody to look after. I'm going to go prowl around on my own. Better take the foam and protective clothing. I'm not looking for gas. Well, at least take this. What's that for? Local zombies. Sounds like your X-Files love Mulder. Ah, a little bit. He's got a little bit of Mulder in him. Just a smidge. I must admit, the, the, the VHS quality of this definitely does add to the charm. I see what you mean. Like I do, I do actually see what you mean. It's gonna be like a frozen body. It's another skeleton. What was that? It's another skeleton.
dress up as Ghostface when we when um we go to the show? Yes. Yeah, that's a great idea actually. Yes. It's funny because Sean will be laughing at me right now. Terrible. You still have not lost your touch at the stove. He keeps my mind off things. Don't worry Make about no Nick. Bones about it. This we can take care shit. of himself. <laughs> but he's been gone. All day. What's for dinner? Roast chicken. Did you find anything in the forest? I hitched a ride into town. Oh. And the zombies hanging out in town now? What were they doing? Watching a movie? Oh, good job. <laughs> You get many foreign businessmen in these parts? You fool. You're lucky if you see one stranger a year around here. Any Americans? The one who was killed was the only American in this province since the war. The only Why? American in this province since the war. I don't know, war. but uh, you might be in for a tourist <laughs> boom. Accidentally no giving zombies. him uh, his voice am I giving him? Well, who then is responsible Skeletal. for these murders? Um, <laughs> Skeletal's voice. Someone who doesn't want us snooping around here. E-Man, master of the universe. Foreign agents? No. They don't work that way anymore. The Grim Graper. I remember that. Thank My you. name is the Grim Graper, and I am here to grape. Hmm. Maybe uh, someone I ought to make a quick buck. I miss being like 13 years old. On what? Oh my god, that sounds... I don't know. Terrible. Let me just smoke my fucking pipe the whole movie and be monotone. I love that. Curse you, Night of the Zombies! We didn't see anything. I've only been waiting my entire life. Do you reckon people that are just tuning in now think I've lost my mind? Possibly. It is Halloween. It is spooky season. Mm. Wow. Lucky I've got good eyesight. It's fucking hard to watch. Not much. Fire. I see a fire. Oh, when the saints. Oh, when the saints. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be with the numbers. Oh, when the saints go marching in. No zombies. In. If there are, the search for the gas is too important to let anyone or anything hold it up. Let's go. I thought you were sick. I am sick. Yesterday. I'm fucking sick of this shit movie. Is this the worst movie we've watched? Yeah, probably. Giving up already? Hey, doctor. All right, come on, let's call it a day. No. No, the sooner we find that gas, the better. Hey, doctor.
Hi. Dr. Brown? Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't you remember me? Remember you? Yeah. Don't come any closer. Think, Dr. Pratt. Kelly, sir, special unit C. Welcome back, doctor. Welcome back to the U.S. Army. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> this is the greatest scene in cinema history. The Grim Graper has returned. You gonna tell me now you don't believe in zombies? <laughs> All right, I'm going back out there. Can you get me a World War II outfit? Yeah, Herr Monroe. <laughs> Why is rapid beeping so anxiety inducing? Mm. What you need is to run into a couple of German Soldaten. Oh, don't joke, I may find them. I thought you couldn't kill zombies. Well, if I can't kill him, I'll join him. Are they pretending to be Nazi zombies? Somehow, if I'm not enjoying the movie, it's still better than Bright Band, though. It's still the worst movie I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> like a really crap and really pissed. Thanks, really crap. Love that you've got my back always, bro. At least he's on it. Creepy Try and get Tom over at John's post. I don't know what we're doing. I've got a feeling I want to get more enjoyment well, out well, of reading well. trivia for the movie. All quiet? Yeah, quiet. The Nazis on playing tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't relax. It's their turn to go on the offensive. Yeah, it's our turn. It's turn. Yeah, it's our turn. What I reckon mean, the yeah, fortress is going to be they get attacked yeah. by real Nazis. Yeah, right. He's going to leave too long. <laughs> well, keep an eye out anyway. <laughs> That's supposed to be funny? <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't know how far enough. How was your leave in Gay Paris? Paris was expensive. Hey, yeah, but the girls were terrific, huh? I didn't go for the girls. Oh, oh yeah, no. what'd you go for then? I went for the cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> now the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, guys, yeah. listen, knock it off. You do your ration of gamma 693 tomorrow. Get it? The girls in the cuisine are the same. Lieutenant, how many canisters are there? I get the drug. You get it? You get it? Not for a couple of hundred years, <laughs> if you live that long. Yeah, we'll live that long. I got a grandson older than I am now. <laughs> yeah, he looks better. <laughs> <laughs> You know what would have been a, be a way better movie than this? If there was actually real zombies and they just killed a bunch of people? Susan? That would have been so much better. Mm. I'm here. Susan, there, there really are zombies. You've had quite a shock. Just relax. Oh, that feels so good. Think about something else. Think about something I found real it. far away from here. Things in place warm. Think about the time right after Daddy was killed. Remember, you took me to Atlantic City. <laughs> Remember all the salt water taffy we ate. <laughs> Remember all the salt water taffy. Made me thirsty yeah. just remembering it. <laughs> just remember it. <laughs> One glass of water. Yes, <laughs> this movie is really bad. Remember all the salt water taffy they ate. Remember we were running up and down on the Remember beach? Remember we were running up and down? Tickled by funny bone. Better? Ah. Uncle Clarence? What's the matter? The gas. I've got to get the gas. It's almost too late! Ah! Please, explode into a puddle of dust. How much longer is left on this? Not long. Uh, oh wow, he's actually turning into a zombie. Is he gonna go and kill everyone? Oh please. Give me 10 minutes of party. That's all I ask for. I've got a bone to pick with this shitty movie. I'm tired of jaw jacking. <laughs> what? You know what's funny? Huh? My fucking skeleton looks better than those do. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, my skeleton is way better than theirs. Poor guys. Susan? Nope. Oh. the boardwalk with you. Now listen to me, please. Did he find the gas? Tell me that. That's all I want to know. Did he find... <laughs> I am 77 years old. 
I should have been dead for 35 years now if it wasn't for the gas. Chemist 693 wasn't water. developed to destroy lives. Oh, it was developed God. to maintain them, to put the wounded in, in a state of suspended animation so they could be I transported to the, the hospital. Listen to me, please! Holy we have got to preserve our lives. We have got to do that. I know what death is. I, I was suffering from an incurable disease back in 1944. I stole just a little bit of the gas so that I might... No! Please, listen, you've got to listen to me. Please. I stole a little of the gas. The scientists who developed it discovered that. I had to kill him. I had to. Now listen! Then I, then I burned his laboratory in hopes that it would look like an accident. Unfortunately, the formula burned in the fire. I didn't realize how unfortunate it was until a few days later when my, when my flesh began to decay on my body. That's what I, I began to supplement my diet with human flesh in order to, to maintain His makeup a is the only appearance. cool thing about the movie. Yes, I killed my At least the makeup did. And here, for that one, for the rest of the zombies of the shit, but for him it's okay. They could only afford to make one zombie look good. <laughs> May as well make it the one the whole fucking movie's about. I'm a scientist. I have one of the most awesome. brilliant minds man mm. has ever known. It is only right that they should have died that I might live. Now tell me, did he find oh the gas? God. The gas. I want the only gas. a few more the years. The gas, you, the gas. They won't share the secret with yeah. me. But my friends from 44, all those men I know, they think I destroyed the formula on purpose. But you know I didn't do it. I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. No! No! Nick mustn't see me like this. You have to do anything, absolutely anything, to get him to tell you where those canisters are located. Do you understand anything? Please! Oh, my God, it may be too late. I'm falling apart already. Oh, Oh, Everyone's gone out of the game. I'm hungry. Oh, please! I'm hungry. I'm no! Hungry. Uncle Clarence, I'll do anything! I thought you had more strength of courage than that! Nick! May I call you Nick?
Nick Monroe. You finally caught up with us. Nick Monroe. We all admire your abilities. We have been uh, observing you for weeks. admire your abilities? Thank you. Who am I addressing? Colonel Orville Prescott, U.S. Army Chemical Corps, Special Unit C. Zombies? We find that word very distasteful. It's daylight. We can roam at any hour of the day or night. We prefer to have our men sleep during the day to conserve our supply of Gamma 693 until, of course, we can build facilities to duplicate the formula. What about the battles? Mm -hmm. It keeps our men from boredom. Why are we hiding out up here? It would have been foolish of us to return to civilization as the living dead, to be mocked and to be experimented on. So, uh, we decided uh, to take our just revenge on the human race for being responsible for what we are. Half corpses and half vegetable. You guys look normal. Human flesh again. Dr. Proud was one of you? No, we just recently learned he was with your group. Dr. Proud must have no, killed thousands to retain his shape. I would say I he was somewhat of an inhuman program. brute. Inhuman? Where do you guys get your food? I just started a stock farm with some captured villagers. What is your answer, Nick? Will you join us? No way. Eternal life, Nick. No way. Oh, we zombies are destined to rule the universe. Everyone will beg us for the secret of defeating death. Atomic bombs, armies, disease, nothing can stop us. I would love to turn we as rulers will have anything we want to. There will be no more war, mm. no more poverty. Just butcher shops crammed with human flesh. The world is overpopulated. What's the difference between some petty clerk living out a dull day-to-day -day existence with no future to speak of except a pension and death. And a steer on his way to the stockyards. Will you join us? You can't kill us, wow, Nick. What a We're going to have to kill person. you. Then you'll be forced to join Holy us. Shit. <laughs> it won't work, Nick. Nothing works. He really likes to You are so often now. Zombies dominating the world. Sure, Nick. Collins, Gamma 693 is capable of suspending death almost indefinitely. And it can continuously recreate a corpse into a functioning humanoid form. Paul! But Collins, I'm telling you... Don't I... butt me! You just hope the press hasn't gotten wind of this drivel. There is no such thing as zombies. Have you seen Susan lately? She went back about an hour ago. That's strange. I didn't pass her on the road. Oh, she may have stopped someplace for a bite. <laughs>
that was shit. <laughs> that was complete and utter garbage. Aren't you glad? Oh my god. Aren't you glad you got like half an hour of me in the skeleton? Yes, I am actually. Was that the highlight of the movie? It was. All right, let's have a little let's have a little read. Let's do the trivia. Um, I forgot how to live life outside of a mask. <laughs> um, all right, movie trivia. Let us do it. Uh, Night of the Zombies, Internet Movie Database. Let's do this thing. <sighs> Make it snappy, kiddo. I'm falling asleep. Yeah. That went for way longer than it should have. Okay, alternate versions, connections. Also, I can't see anything on the screen. Yeah, right I know. Now. I haven't gotten anything up yet. Okay, good. Alright, trivia. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Night of the Zombies. Many scenes shot in the home and on the property of porn director Sean Costello. <laughs> Alfonso de Noble's final film. The film has been marketed under the titles of Night of the Zombies, Gamma 693, Night of the Wormack Zombies, Die Nacht der Zombies. Sister of Death, Zombie War Games, and The Chilling. Scenes in Munich, Germany, were shot without permission. Who cares? You shouldn't need permission. While filming in St. Peter's Church, Munich, without permission, the team was thrown out by a local priest. After Joel M. Reed falsely claimed that they were shooting for an American TV station, permission was granted immediately by the cleric. Okay. There's no... Is there any goofs? No. Okay, alternate versions. Re-released on VHS in North America in the early 1990s, sold in places like Kmart as Night of the Zombies 2 on the box. Apparently, the distributors were trying to capitalize on the original release or market th this as a sequel to Bruno Mattai's Night of the Zombies, aka Hell of the Living Dead. The label on the actual video cassette just says Night of the Zombies, as does the title card on the print of the tape. But I'm pretty sure in the movie it said Night of the Zombies 2, yeah? Mm-hmm. Which is f fucking weird. Okay. And then there's just some... Joe Bob talks about the making of this Joel and Meet Reed movie. Alright, let's look at some of these pictures. Nice, look at that skeleton. Honestly, man, my skeleton looks better than that skeleton. L'Oreal Paris, nice. Night of the Zombies, Certified X. <laughs> Look, and then they've got... What a fucking misleading thing because they've got the only cool thing that happened in the movie right there already. You don't need to watch mm -hmm. the movie now because you just see that guy's grotesque face. Wherever zombies go, a grisly trail of terror and murder follows. So watch out because you could be next. <laughs> That's cool. Does he ever actually look yeah, like that, that in the cool. movie? Yeah, that was one of the guys that was in the bunker with him. <clears throat> Die Nacht der Zombies. Even the posters are better than the movies. That's cool. That's better than the movie. Look at this. That's way better than the movie. No one can survive this outpost from hell. What's mm. it? What is that? Night of the Zombies. They're eating their way to power. An American chemical warfare battalion and a Nazi SS unit were, were rumoured to have done battle somewhere in the Bavarian Alps during World War II, but were never heard from again. 30 years later, investigators searching for the soldiers' missing bodies encounter unbelievable rumours about zombies. Dismissing those rumours, they set out to investigate odd battle sounds in the mountains. After the two men are found dead, CIA Special Agent Nick Munro, played by Jamie Gillis, is sent to flush out what, he, what are suspected to be deserters from the old U.S. Army Chemical Corps unit. Nick, Nick's ruthless investigation uncovers a ghoulish plot of world domination, but first he must escape the terror that does not want to be known yet. Okay. Look at that. If you saw this, like... 
at a video store in like 1985 <sighs> and you saw that picture on the back cover, you would go, all right, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be shit, mm-hmm. but it's going to be awesome. But instead, it's just shit. <clears throat> okay, so what? Oh, that's cool. A flesh-creeping horror story of the living dead spanning over 30 years with a grisly trail of terror and murder. Soldiers from World War II are kept youthful by a unique chemical gas. Without it, they will decompose, and the only substitute is human flesh and blood. Night of the Zombies is a truly shocking film of the living dead and their evil plans to conquer the world, not for the squeamish. Dude, that was one of the tamest horror movies I've ever seen. (laughs) Certified X? Fuck off. Why? Because it had ten se- it had fucking three seconds of tits in it. Mm. So what did we reckon of the movie, guys? Dreadful. <laughs> Are you glad you and watched I mean, it with us though? And and I mean like not in a good way. Yeah, it was just straight up bad. It was just terrible. Yeah. See, I would say Night of the Um what is it, the Brain Eaters that we watched was so much better than this. It was. Like, that had so much charm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like, it was still terrible. Yeah. But this, this was, was worse. Good. This was This was even worse than the... The, um... Starfish one. Starfish one? Yeah. What fucking you know, starfish the, one? The people in the giant... Um, starfish suits... People in the starfish suits. Yeah, they were like, they were meant to be leeches. Oh, Attack of the Giant Leeches. Man, yeah, even, crazy. That movie was fucking good. That movie was so much better even, than this. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Even that was better. Yeah, that movie was fucking awesome. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that movie, whereas this was like pretty bad. It was really bad. It just had no like continuity and it was just really choppy and they didn't explain anything <laughs> the VH- yeah, just, the VHS effect can't. well not effect the actual VHS transfer of it was uh, cool though I like that it, yeah I like that that was cool it added like an authentic element to it that's about the extent of it I did like the zombie makeup though yeah, on that, that one zombie, on the one zombie. No, no, I saw it on the other ones, because remember the other ones in the bunker that he was with? Yeah, I was just too busy having a fun with the skeleton, to be fair. Yeah, I, I know. Anyway, they had cool makeup, too. Yeah. So Yeah, yeah I guess the, the, when they like, and then they turned into skeletons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. But the last guy was the best. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was falling apart. And, like, as the scene went on and it would cut back to him, he had more and more damage to his face. Mm. It looked fucking yeah. awesome. It kind of reminded me of, um, like, Planet Terror, how they have to breathe the gas in to stop turning, though. I wonder if that was an influence on this. Possibly. Oh, I wonder if this well, was an other influence way around. on that. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Knowing Tarantino, he probably. No, Planet Terror was Robert Rodriguez. Um, well, Quentin Tarantino okay. was death proof. It was uh, the but Grindhouse I know what movies you mean. were a collaboration. Yeah. But yes, I know what you mean. It yeah. was primarily Rodriguez. You know what would be cool though? Owning this on VHS to get this cool cover. Yeah. This cover is cooler than the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but well, you know what's even you know what would be even cooler? Going to sleep and having a beautiful sleep. Yeah. But what would be cooler? <laughs> um, paying $400 for a Friday the 13th VHS. Ooh. <laughs> $464 for Friday the 13th VHS or free Night of the Zombies? <laughs> I'd pay the $400, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but think about think about how funny it was with me and the skeleton there. Yeah, but, like, I can see that any time. No, you can't. I only would have done it if the movie was bad enough to warrant me doing it. (laughs) 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 Ah, It's okay to just goof around every now and then. Of course it is. Anyways, we're going to end that one there. We're going to end this on a high (sighs) note, which is the cover. 
<laughs> Wait, which is the best cover? Let's let's pick the best cover. Oh this my one, god. This one or that one? Is there any more? No, the other. I like that one the most. This one? Yeah. This is a good cover. That looks grisly as fuck. Yeah, the front the front of that looks cool. I wish the movie was actually even 1% of this mm. mo- of this cover. It kind of reminds me of Evil Dead or Army of Darkness. A little. Dude, what a disappointing movie. I was hoping it was just going to be like a gory sh- piece of schlock, but it was like not gory at all. It was just... Just a piece of schlock? Yeah. It was bad, but not a good bad. It was a bad bad, but mm. I'm still glad I watched it because I th- there's just something about... <clears throat> these old movies that yeah. nobody talks about, nobody speaks about. And when we go back, we kind of go back through time and, and bring these movies back to life a little bit when we when I feature them on the stream, you know what I mean? Well, you know, we all know why no one talked about this one. Look, I'm going to pay that. <laughs> I mean, the the last... Like, the the parts with the zombie makeup, that was cool. But apart from that, there was not a lot to this one. It was disappointing. Mm. Mm. Very disappointing. You would think that would at least show a zombie eating one person. Mm. Oh, well. All right, I guess we'll, uh, we'll reconvene next Wednesday for another... Vintage ha- vintage Halloween watch party. Vintage horror movie watch party. <laughs> Thank you very much for hanging out, everyone. It's been a pleasure. I had a lot of fun, even though the movie was bad. And uh, until the next one, I'll catch you guys around. Bye.